now. So it's set to set to 70. It's currently 82. Cool is on. So it should be running. We have air coming out of the vents, but it's not cool. So let's go check the air handler. Got no compressor. So let's go find the outdoor unit, but there is air. All right, filter looks good. Okay, so we found the outdoor unit. It's obviously not running. So first things first, do we have high voltage? Uh, we do not. I'm just gonna check both sides just in case. Next thing is see if we're getting the call just to make sure that we're on the right unit. As I see, they're gonna be that one or this one. I, I think it's this one because the line set runs straight over and then this one goes underground kind of at an angle and there's another unit over there. Uh, so anyway, let's see if we're getting a call for cool. So I'm going uh, Y and C. So I do have 26 volts. So I believe this is the correct unit. So we don't have high voltage. So we're gonna go check the disconnects, which are over there. Um, let's see if we have voltage there. See if maybe we have pop fuse or something. Okay, so we got the service disconnect here. This is, I think this is the load side actually. I think about it, but I got nothing. And then line side is gonna be these two on the side. Nothing. Okay, so here's the breaker. Hey pump. It's tripped. So we need to check that uh, compressor and check the condenser fan motor, make sure there's no uh, shorts. We're gonna flip it off. And then we're gonna flip it back on. All right. Um, keep in mind I have the disconnect unplugged, so we should be all right. Okay, so we have the disconnect unplugged. Uh, we reset the breaker, so I'm just gonna make sure we have voltage. So yeah, so we got voltage. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and check the unit and see if we have a uh, grounded compressor or a bad condenser fan motor. Real quick, so I got this down to ground, see? All right, so here we go. Just checking on the contactor, see if we have anything. So no. All right, cool. So now we're gonna check the motors individually and go from there. Okay, so this one's for these new guys. So this is one of these kind of things. So I need to get in there, right? So here's the trick, you get a screwdriver. Okay, and you're gonna push it towards the compressor straight like that, and then under and then up and like that. All right, and that's gonna come out like that and then just pops right out. And then you have access to your terminal. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and ohm out our compressor here. We just wanna check our windings. So this is a single phase compressor, so uh, they are not all gonna be the same, okay? Uh, so we're gonna have, this one here is common. All right. So that's common, that's start, and that's run, okay? So we're gonna check our common winding first. So we're gonna go common to start. Bear with me, this is hard to do one-handed. Okay, and we got four. Okay, now we're gonna go common to, to run. We got 2.3, so that's 6.3, right? Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna do run to start, and it should be close to that. It's probably gonna be slightly lower, um, but it should be close. So we're at 5.9, so it's close. Okay, now we're gonna see if it's grounded. So the way we do that is you can put it on the line set uh, or you can put it on ground. I'm just gonna do the line set here. Okay, and then we're gonna switch over to continuity. All right, so. Better. All right, cool. Making sure it works. All right, so we're gonna go to common. We got nothing, start, or I'm sorry, run, nothing, and then start, nothing. Okay, that's good, so it's not grounded. So now we gotta find the, uh, now we have to find the uh, wires for the condenser fan motor. So just like we did with the compressor, we're checking the ground. So this is, uh, these are the three wires to our um, fan motor. So this one's common. Uh, this orange one here is run, and then the purple one is start. Okay, so we're checking the ground. So, uh, ground to common, nothing. Ground to run, nothing. And ground to start. And you got nothing. 
So it's not gratis now. We're going to check the lightings. Common to run. We got 41.9. And then common to start. Common to start. We got 83. So let's see. So 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. So 124 point something is what we should be getting between that. So we're gonna go to start and run. Yeah, 124.5, so it's good. All right, so we're gonna reconnect all this stuff and we're gonna try to fire it off and see what happens. Um, and hopefully it doesn't pop again. Uh, maybe it just was overloaded. It's been super hot here. It is a 30 amp breaker. Uh, if we look at this system, minimum max fuse is 25 now, so something's up with it. So we'll try to fire it off and see what happens. The contactor is open because I unplugged the call for cool. Um, when I plugged in the disconnect, the power popped. So I'm going to go check the breaker again and see what's going on. Um, I have the condenser fan motor unplugged, so I'm going to disconnect the compressor and then I'm going to reset the power again and see what happens. So the contactor is open. Um, I've completely unplugged the compressor. I've completely unplugged the condenser fan motor. So we're going to go ref uh, reset the breaker and see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, our breaker is tripped again, so we're going to reset it. Okay, bring it on. So we're back out here, so let's see if we're getting voltage. Okay, so we do have voltage. All right, so when we turned on the breaker, it immediately popped. So we unplugged the compressor and it didn't pop. So we're gonna kill power. We're gonna hook up the compressor again. If it pops, we got a burnt out compressor. For some reason, it didn't show up uh, as having continuity. So it might just be, maybe the windings are shorted. It's hard to say, but. It looks like we got a bad compressor. So we're gonna hook this all back up and try it again, see if it pops again, and then we'll go so, from there. I checked the run cap and it's slightly out of spec, but it should start up. Um, we have power now. So the only thing I have connected is the condenser fan motor. So just gonna see if it works. Yeah, so condenser fan motor is good. So it looks like our problems are compressor. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill the power one more time. I'm gonna reconnect our compressor. If it pops, we're gonna condemn the compressor. It's weird though because I didn't see any ground. It doesn't seem to be grounded, but uh, it's definitely short. There's some short going on in there. Just for some reason, it's not detectable. Okay, so uh, we're gonna plug in the power. Okay, so we have voltage. Compressor's connected. Condenser fan motor's connected. Here we go. Moment of truth. Alrighty, so it looks like we have a locked rotor. Uh, a really bad locked rotor so high that it pops the breaker so um, yeah so we're gonna go ahead and quote out a new system because the system's from 1993 so anyway hopefully this helps you out so thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe comment tell me what a horrible technician I am hit that bell notification and uh, follow me on Instagram and Facebook thanks for watching